Hello, uh, Andy here. I just wanted to record a video today of me working on this painting, but also just want to do a little talky talk. Sorry, I just tried to zoom in. I don't think I can. But I wanted to do a little talky talk on how you can remember past lives and past experiences and how you are constantly remembering past lives and past experiences, but um, you're just not knowing where they're coming from. Right? So, how do you know that you, well, first off, let's just talk about um, a sign that you are connecting with a past life experience. You know, we all talk about like deja vu and whatever. And deja vu is another, is definitely an indicator of a, uh, a time in which you had lived or a moment you have lived before. Sorry, I forgot the booms. But that's not the only thing. I feel like deja vu can be so vague sometimes, you know? Like, really, in order to remember your past lives, you really have to learn how to really... It takes a lot of time um, developing your your train of thought, you know, and your ability to tell what thoughts are yours and what thoughts are not. Like, if you haven't gone through the process of just, like, paying attention to your thoughts and, like, questioning them and being like, oh, wow, where did this thought come from? Like, why would I think something like that? Is that thought from me organically or is that a thought that I've been told to think or has been, yeah, has been around or is like an already pre-programmed thought basically is what I mean. Like a thought that has been put into you before you even knew it was happening. So after you go through that process and you start noticing your own thoughts, you'll notice thoughts that you don't know the source from or you can't remember the source from from this particular life. You know, thoughts, images, reoccurring themes is another thing that will tell you about your past life. There's a thing with past lives is one, they're not past. They're basically current, since time is non-linear and happening at once. You are still living as your past lives today. But since you're not really conscious of the fact that you're living as your past life, and not just past life, as your interdimensional lives and other um, aspects of yourself throughout the galaxy, in the dimensional uh, realms. Yeah, it'll be really hard to pinpoint um, what those thoughts mean when they come up and you're like, wow, like I keep, I keep seeing a tree in my brain. Like I keep visualizing this tree. Or I, I met this person and they just, it was like an immediate connection. Those are like past life, um, not nudges from your intuition. You might be like, what is your intuition, Andy? Good question. Because you really can't decipher what was from a past life and what is from, um, a forgotten memory from your current life if you haven't developed your sense of intuition. And you can only really develop your sense of intuition by spending a lot of time with yourself, spending a lot of time um, with your own thoughts. You can do this through meditation, you can do this 
yoga, any activity you do, any of your little hobbies you like to do can help you connect with that sense of intuition. But the strongest way is through meditation, of course, because you're literally just sitting there with your thoughts. And once you start understanding, like, like, oh, well, this thought just popped up. I didn't even need to think it. Like, this was the first thought that came up when I uh, asked myself this question or when I was in this situation. You'll learn very soon that that is the voice of your intuition. Like, that, that first little nudgel, like if you're standing and you're in the supermarket and something's telling you, I gotta get to li the line right now. <laughs> I gotta get to that line. It's your intuition saying, baby, the line's a building. You know? Or you're trying to get re getting ready for a party. For some reason, you just can't get yourself moving. It's usually your intuition working through your body, being like, baby, sit down. Don't go out. You know? It's really cool. Because intuition, like... I think we forget that, like... We have multiple different bodies on this plane or extremely close to this uh, dimensional plane. Those bodies being your emotional, your physical, this one, your spiritual and your um, emotional spiritual is a fourth one. I always forget the fourth one, which probably says something about me. Um, you have your emotional, your spiritual, your physical. In your energetic body, yes. And those all basically have an intuition of themselves. Which is why it's very important for you to understand your own thoughts. And what your thoughts are like. So that you can understand where these uh, nudges are coming from. So let's say... You're with somebody and you feel very connected to them in this first time you met though or you guys haven't known each other that long but it feels like you've known each other forever where's that feeling coming from is it coming from usually nine times out of ten it's coming from all the bodies there are also many more bodies than that but these are the ones that i like to think are closer to our physical since they do they rule a lot of what's happening on this physical plane but yeah how do you use those um that knowing of those bodies to tell you what thoughts are um past life thoughts or past life nudges or coming from past life past life themes how do you use those times those yeah. Well, okay. So, I guess I'll just give you a personal example. Because for one, it's different for everybody. But pretty similar for everyone, because we're all one thing. But for me, I can always tell when something is from a past life. When it's, like, blaring. Like, it, it's a theme that won't stop coming up. Like, recently... Um... I've been seeing pirates everywhere. Like, I, like, yeah. Just seeing pirates everywhere. And because I'm aware of my surroundings and I'm aware of my thoughts, I see these things and I take note of it. I'm like, dang, another pirate. Oh, another pirate. What could that be telling my conscious mind? One definitely a blaring sign that I have memories from past life or that I have had past life experiences as a pirate you know it's not a hard thing to um assess you know a lot of the things that we do now are direct consequences of uh us being connected to our past lives like art or like a hobby that you do all the time that just feels so natural to you. That you felt like you didn't even need to um, really try too hard to uh, get into. That is like 
a past life nudge. You know, that's your past life speaking through you. But it's also just you, you know? That could mean, like, at this moment, you in a past life is doing the same exact thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So, what the pirates was telling me, because especially during this time period we're in, where there is a lot of, um, I think a lot of people are starting to want to break away from the mainstream um, governmental systems, become more self-reliant. I can see how that theme is repeated in piratry, <laughs> whatever, or in the lifestyle of a pirate, you know? They were like, fuck it, and basically just did their own thing. I need to do more research on pirates. Maybe that's what it's telling me subconsciously as well to help me understand parts of myself more. But something we also need to understand is that in a past life, in past lives, in future lives, we are, we have been every single, um, little piece of paint, but we have been every single person to ever exist. Every single thing ever to ever exist in this world. We have been that. So you're only actually able to um, connect with those lives that you're already vibrating on that frequency of in this physical body. So if you're like, um, if you're super anxious and depressed or something, um, you'll only really be able to access past lives that vibrated on that frequency. Unless you kind of bump up your frequency a bit. And of course you still, you get, everybody has higher beings and higher energies, higher um, energies that um, communicate with them all the time. But it depends on your vibration that allows those thoughts to even communicate with you you know or those beings and to be able to communicate you with you because if you're not developing your intuition you'll be getting signs from past lives or be getting signs from future lives or higher dimensional beings and you won't even notice the thought because yeah you're just your brain is already consumed and whatever it is that is consuming you. Like that vibration is just not going to match with what, how you're already vibrating at. So of course you're only really gonna be able to gravitate towards um, the thoughts that already vibrate on your frequency, which is if you're very depressed and anxious, there's already depression anxious thoughts. How do you know if your thought is really a, um, or like, okay, not just thought, let's get back. Other ways you can experience past life, um, phenomena is like in a vision. You can get it through visions or like maybe you, you have like memories that you don't even actually remember for yourself in this life. And it feels like a memory, but you've never actually, like, but you know you've never been through that. That takes a certain level of intuitive um, development to even know that something that is already in your brain is not from this time period. Because here's the thing with um, consciousness on this planet right now. A lot of people think that everything that's in their brain is from now because they really truthfully in their hearts believe they've only been well not in their hearts our hearts know the truth but in their brains they truthfully believe that this is their only time they've been here and don't listen to their intuitive bips and and uh, notifications
and then don't understand why they're feeling so down and out and disconnected with themselves in the universe. So really like getting to know more about your past lives is really more just exercise and getting to know yourself. Like, and by yourself, I mean your, um, your now self in 3D right now. Because the more you know your now self, the easier it will be for you to recognize the parts of you that have come from different times. Like recently, I've been tapping into a lot of um, like visualizations of uh, of time periods in which I have helped free uh, enslaved people and remembering time periods in which I've had to defend myself against um, like slave catchers and stuff. And I'm only in like years ago, if I was having these visions, I would have just thought like, oh, maybe I just made that up. You know, maybe my brain just made that up. But that's not something that you really would want to make up, you know. Those aren't like visualizations and thoughts that, but since, I, yeah, since I know myself, I see those things and I know I wouldn't have imagined something like that for me to see because it's, those are traumatic things to witness. Let's say that you have a reoccurring um, visualization that comes to you that is not good. And you sit there and you see it, and since you haven't really developed your intuition in that way, you see it and you're like, oh my god, that means I'm a bad person. Why would I think something like that? But no. That is probably just a memory from a lifetime that um, you are currently vibrating on the frequency of. That doesn't mean you're a bad person. That just means that you're connecting more with that frequency. And by, like, by visualization, I mean, like, the things that you see in your imagination, you know? Imagination. Imagination, you know? Your imagination tells us a lot about yourself. So it's very important to pay attention to the things that um, pop up in it. Right? Um... Yeah, but really, if you want to learn more about your past lives, if you're interested in that kind of thing, you really have to do the work in order to do so. You really have to learn how to know yourself and know your thoughts. And see the signs around you as signs and not just coincidences. Because in this universe, there is no such thing as a coincidence. In a universe that is a uh, projection of your subconscious mind as a god figure on this planet as we all are gods and creators hence the hands um nothing's coincidence so you just really have to pay attention all right and on that that's it for my video thanks for watching me paint thanks for listening to me talk um come again soon andy out bye